What's up, nerds? I'm Alex. And I'm Danny. And we're seriously nerdy about everything. Except for, no, just kidding. We're, we're pretty nerdy about most things. One of the things I, in particular, am seriously nerdy about is cocktail culture. I really love the craftsmanship that goes into beautifully made drinks. Which brings us to this very weird and specific lo-fi speed build video. LA's oldest tiki bar, Tonga Hut, has something called the Grog Log. If you drink 80 something drinks over the course of 18 months, they will put your name on the wall and not just put your name on the wall, they will display any plaque you bring them. So for this particular speed build, we decided to present a plaque that we made for our friend Brandon, who has just completed the grog log. Woo! Woo! I am so inspired by a maker on YouTube called Zan Von Zett who uses clay masterfully. So when Brandon offered to let us build his plaque. When Brandon allowed us to commandeer his plaque. That one, I saw it as an opportunity to break out clay, which isn't a medium I use very often on the channel and create an entirely handmade clay plaque for Brandon's grog log completion. It's sort of a nod to that tropical adventure land aesthetic uh, that we love so much. Since this is a speed build, we're not gonna do any narrative for this. So just kick back, relax, and enjoy some lo-fi while we make things out of clay. Clay stuff.
That's pretty cool, huh? Uh, what did we learn? If you don't already and you enjoy Maker videos, please uh, check out Zan Von Zed because she is just a master. Incredible. Wow. Up to this point, I had just been using sort of raggedy brushes that I had for dry brush. For this one, I got an actual set of goat hair dry brushes mm. and they make all the difference in the world. That dry brush is... We had initially planned on airbrushing the entire thing to base it, but it actually turned out that just brushing on primer was easier because there are so many cracks and crevices with clay. It was just faster to do a quick coat. If you enjoyed this build or the act of making Tonga Hut Groglog Plex, please subscribe to the channel because we will have part two, which is my diorama inspired version of a plaque where I'm going to attempt to recreate the interior of Tonga Hut this big. Definitely check out Tonga Hut in Los Angeles if you're ever in the area, especially if you enjoy tiki drinks or tiki bars. We understand that tiki culture is deeply problematic. We want to celebrate cultures the right way. I'd say learn as much as you can about Polynesian culture. Don't just go to drink the drinks and repeat the deeply offensive things that are buried in a lot of tiki culture. Oceanic culture represents so many nations. One person or group can't speak for all of them and say one thing's okay or not okay. So ask questions, be smart, and celebrate the good. And drink responsibly. Oh yeah, drink responsibly. And if you're gonna do the grog log, tell us in the comments, cause I would love to compare notes with you. Cheers, nerds. Here's some final footage. He's back. You're gonna hate editing that. I'll fix it in post. I like your hair flip. That's good. Breakout clay, which is a medium I has a which is my diorama in style. <laughs> Cannot talk today. Rob long completion. Thanks, Alexa. Oh, and this one, we're gonna that's our cat. If you like and subscribe, we'll show you our cat. He's not even in the bag. He wasn't even in the bag. He was in the bag at one point. Oh boy, but that's a cat. Hey buddy. This is our kitten, Gimlet. He has an Instagram. If you'd like to follow him, he's at Tiny Gimlet. I told you I love cocktails. We named our cat after a gin drink. He likes to sleep on our bar cart, Sir Gimlet. First of his name. This is official cat of serious nerdy. Cats in the tunnel and the, the silver, silver spoon. spoon. This Little song is on world to free. <laughs> She's right. It's parody. There's going to be an alcohol disclaimer on this YouTube video. Oh no, sorry kids. I have nothing else to say.